What's going on guys? If you're in the process of finishing your basement, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to need to frame around either some HVAC ductwork or some pipes that are suspended below your joists. This video is gonna show you the simplest method, at least in my opinion, on how to frame around HVAC ducts or pipes in a basement. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? So here's a look at the duct work in my basement before I did anything to it. Obviously it looks really bad and we're gonna need to cover this up. In order to frame around this HVAC duct, I used a piece of OSB lumber that I ripped to the correct height and then I had a mounting rail that I attached directly to the floor joist above and then a mounting stud at the bottom of the OSB that's going to serve as the mounting surface for the drywall below. So the first step in this process is to attach the mounting rail to the bottom of the joist so that it runs parallel to the duct. I used a 2x2, two two, but a 2x4 is also fine. After attaching the mounting rail to the bottom side of the floor joist, you're going to want to measure how far that the HVAC duct extends down from the floor joist. So assuming your duct extends 12 inches down from the floor joist, you're going to want to pick up a 4x8 sheet of OSB plywood since it's the least expensive, and you're going to rip it down to a height that is about one inch longer or higher than the duct. That way, when you mount it to the mounting rail, it's gonna extend a little bit lower than the HVAC duct, and you're gonna be able to install plywood below it. Let me show you what I mean. So take your OSB and rip it down to the correct height using a table saw is better. I use a circular saw and a straight edge, and then you're gonna take your two inch by four inch mounting stud, and you're gonna screw it to the bottom. Then as you can see here, I'm positioning it in place and then I'm attaching the top to the mounting rail we installed previously. On the other side, you can see that there's some bends in the HVAC duct, so I had to adjust my mounting rail accordingly to contend for that. The mounting rail again is running parallel to the duct and here's another look at how I had to be creative to get around that corner. As you install the actual OSB to the mounting rail, you wanna use a level to make sure that it's perfectly level on both sides, meaning that the drop is the same height on both sides of the duct. And then you're simply gonna take the OSB with the mounting stud attached to the bottom and attach it to the rail that you installed previously. As mentioned, use a level to make sure you're at the right height on both sides of the duct. Here's a quick look at the mounting stud so you can see exactly how we're gonna attach the drywall to it in the next step. Going around this corner here, what I'm doing now is just doing a dry fit to see how I'm going to need to cut the OSB to size. I'm putting it in place, making sure that I'm perfectly flush with the piece we installed previously. Then I'm going to take my OSB and my 2x4 mounting stud, put it in place. It's helpful to take another piece when you're actually installing it so that it sits properly. And then you're going to screw the OSB into the mounting stud with a few drywall screws. Then I pre-sunk the screw since it was easier, used a level, and then screwed it into place along the mounting rail. After finishing with the framing, you're simply gonna install drywall on the vertical sections directly to the OSB, which is super easy. And then for the drywall at the bottom, you're just gonna attach it to the mounting studs on both sides of the duct. Next, it's simply a matter of cutting out the penetrations for your vents and finishing the drywall with corner bead and joint compound. Although this OSB method is my favorite, there's also other methods of framing around ductwork, like what you're seeing here, which is just some metal studs attached every 16 inches on center, and you can mount the drywall to that, just like you would for any wall. You can also use this method around pipes, which is what I had to do in this location here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos if you wanna see exactly how I'm gonna finish this basement, taking it from this to this. Thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.